Hello, hello, my sweet peaches, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Sophie, and today I am going to be showing off my Island Strawberry. I finally finished it. Um, I've been working on it for a couple of months now, and she is done, she is complete, and she is beautiful, and I can't wait to show it off to you. So first of all, let me show you the map. So here's how the map looks. Our resident representative for this island is Posey. And then for villagers, I have Cleo, Meringue, Lucy, Norma, Gala, Stella, Blue Bear, Cherry, Pietro, and Goldie. I tried to have as many like specifically farm animals as possible, but I did also wanna have some cute villagers. So I just kind of did what I wanted. And anyways, let's just go for it. Here is my entrance. Um, I just wanted it to feel very colorful, very lively, very fun. Um, you don't see these items here. Um, pretend they don't exist. I always, for I always forget something when I update the dream address, which um, if you are wondering, yes, I am visiting this via the dream address um, from my main switch because I've already reset this island um, on my second switch. And this is my little picnic area um, that I've been hanging out in. Originally, it was like right in my entrance, um, like right in front when you first enter. <laughs> that is what being in the front of the entrance means. Um, wow, words are hard today. But I actually redid this whole entrance area and I decided to move it. I, so as I said, um, this theme is Kawaii Farm Core. It's supposed to be um, very like inspired by Strawberry Shortcake, um, my favorite uh, childhood series. Um, and my initial thought with making it very kawaii was like having very pastel pink paths, very, very, you know, like over the top, super pinky, cutesy, adorable. But for some reason, it just didn't feel quite right. I couldn't ever find a path that I liked. Nothing just felt right. All the colors were off. So I decided to just lean in more to the, for the farm, like natural kind of a theme. Um, it still is very colorful. I feel like it's more of a kid core bright colorful than like a soft pastel kawaii which was my original plan um to do but you know what i think it's okay that i changed my plans a little bit because this is just so stinking cute this feels like such a happy vibrant place to live i for one would love to live in a little place like this and i think that's the important part you know it's it's okay to change your theme a little bit along the way we have got just all these really cozy sitting areas, um, kind of just like a park was my thought. Like you can go by that fountain, there's a place to have tea with your teddy bears, just sit and relax, swing on the bench. And over this way, I have a whole bunch of presents that I left for you. Um, I'm gonna quick go ahead and open them all up. All right, so I basically left out a whole bunch of fun outfits and little items that you can hold as you are touring. I am going to get some of these things on do you know no we're gonna do the most strawberry-ish outfit that we can do well I already have the bandage on <laughs> these little oh little red glasses the my melody boots those are the only shoe options um, sorry if you don't like them but I think they're a superior shoe so they're your only option and let's do the dreamy backpack very cute, very on brand, very strawberry. Um, we're gonna kick off this tour by heading left of resident services across this bridge. A lot of the very farmy areas, well, there's farm areas everywhere, but there's a lot of farms on this area, specifically, a lot of houses. Um, we've got my little piggy pen. I think it's so cute. I actually um, normally don't like using like I don't know, like it's not actually a pig, like it's a, a piggy bank and normally that kind of stuff bothers me, but I think it's so cute. Um, I feel like one of the nice things about doing this more colorful kid core island is that I could kind of get away with using more fake items. Um, like, you know, there's really fake tulip boxes or the little duckies um, or the piggy banks, you know, they obviously don't look super realistic, but that's okay. I think it works here and it was fun to kind of experiment with those items that I normally wouldn't. And we have, yes, another picnic because you can never have enough picnics um and we've got this just little windy twisty path that takes us to some of our first houses over here this is miss goldie's house she is running a little honey farm and you can get fresh honey i had to kind of uh 
work with what I got. Um, they don't actually have honey jars in this game, which bothers me, but I put out these jars of the orange marmalade or orange jam, whatever they call it. Um, and you can kind of pretend that it's honey in there since it is yellow. And then I did like the glass jar. It's like fruit in syrup, but uh, pretend it's honey. Um, I actually did want to say I originally was going to get Marty for this area, which is why I had also these like honey bear, honey bear, honey bee bears, honey bears. Um, but Goldie appeared in my campsite and she was too cute to say no to. And I think she suits this area really well as well. And over here we have cherries, cherries. Um, I do have this code up to download if you want to use it. Um, if you want to give your own cherry a cherry orchard. Um, I, I did upload that code and I have a cute one for Blue Bear as well that we'll see in a bit. <gasps> it's me! Have a strawberry good day. <sighs> So punny, so silly. Um, fun fact, I kind of decided that this, this character Posey is like the daughter of my main character. I think we look related. We could, we could be parent and child and she's running away from me. She is trying to escape. Um, I also did want to know um, the houses. I was going to do the interiors, but I was just too tired to do them all. So I only did the exterior, so there is no need to go inside. Hello, Cleo. Uh, there's no need to go inside any of the villager homes. Um, Posey's house is decorated. The human house is definitely decorated. Um, but you don't need to go inside any villager homes. There's nothing to see there. Um, and here we have a ginormous lavender farm. Um, I don't know about you, but I love the purple hyacinths. They're one of my favorite flower. I adore them. They're so cute. Um, and I just wanted to give Cleo a massive lavender farm. I think it just suits her really well. My beach is like kept pretty natural. Um, I did put this little cherry eating area next to Cherry's house so you can enjoy some fresh baked goods. Um, we will say later, I have an apple orchard for Gala and I feel kind of bad because Cherry's cherry orchard is kind of pathetic compared to her apple orchard. But I planned this last minute as well. Originally it was going, I was going to get ketchup and give her a tomato farm. Um, just a little tomato patch kind of thing. But then Cherry also appeared at my campsite, so I decided to take her. I, I was getting very lazy by the end of this island, and I sort of just took whoever uh, fell into my lap, uh, whoever just appeared in the campsite. Um, over here, we've got some little lounge chairs. I have, um, I said earlier this island is inspired by Strawberry Shortcake, you know, my favorite series as a kid, and it's a very kid core island. I just kind of wanted this island to be inspired by all the things that I loved as a kid. Um, it's definitely, um, there's a lot of references to my own childhood and I loved going to the beach as a kid. So I knew that I wanted to have some very cute beachy areas. I did this little kind of round glob of path with a little wishing well, another beloved memory. Um, I never did like a wishing well, but we had like fountains at the mall we used to go to and people would always throw coins in it like it were a wishing well. Um, so I had to put that in. And then we've got this little path that goes up here. And I had a lot of fun decorating some of these tiny little spaces in between um, the path. So like here, we've got just a little dining area because I thought, why not? You know, we have so many farms in this area and surely all of the residents are going to want to share their delicious home-baked goods with all of their crops they grow. So it's just a little area for everyone to gather and eat. And here we have Blueberry's Blueberry Patch. Um, my other, that's my other code that you can access from the kiosk in Resident Services. I went really hard on the blueberries. Um, I basically just used blue hydrangea bushes and I'm pretending they're blueberries. Um, you can also get like custom design uh, bushes like using the umbrella codes, but I just went for all, just all the hydrangea bushes. Um, I specifically made sure I was in hydrangea season for this island, so I wanted to make use of them. Anyways, yeah, we have uh, Blue Bear's house here. She's got her own little spot to sit and enjoy some tea and crepes. And there's unfortunately no blueberry baked goods in this game, because there aren't really blueberries, but I worked with what I had. Um, the mixed fruit pie in the upper right is the best one. I'm pretty sure those are actual blueberries on top. It makes me very mad that there's blueberries on one of the pies you can make, but there's not actual blueberry plants. And to the left of it is a little apple pie, but we're gonna pretend that it's blueberries on the inside. And there's just so much crust that you can't even see the blueberries. Um, and on the bottom, those are pumpkin cupcakes, but I'm pretending that the pumpkin seeds are blueberries. Um, it's gotta work with what you got. 
And then I just had this awkward space here, so I decided to try my hand at making like a farm building. I've talked about it a bit before on my channel, but I'm not really good at doing big buildings like this, but I did want to try to push myself a little bit with this island. Um, so I did this adorable little kind of farm building. Um, I'm just kind of... I, I kind of think it would maybe be like a storage shed, like maybe uh, Blue Bear has extra blueberries back there. Um, I did also want to point out just like the layout of this farm itself. I really didn't know what to do. Like I tried to do straight lines or just little clusters of three or four here and there. I instead went for this big like round path um, that has a little star, uh, kind of like sun rays or starbursts coming out, like little arms spreading out. Um, so it's kind of divided into a bunch of little sections. Um, I don't know if it actually looks good or not. I'd love to hear what you all think. I, I thought it was really fun. Um, it, it was really, I felt like it was a lot of fun for me to just try to think of new creative formats for farm layouts because, um, you know, normally when I do a farm, I just do a blob of crops and I wanted to do something a little bit more unique for farm core since the whole island is a farm and I wanted it to look, you know, interesting. <clears throat> And heading up this way, there's these little um, kind of ledges that make it look like you're climbing a hill. I normally don't like these ledge codes, like I feel like they look very flat and fake, but I love how they work here. I feel like this particular one just looks really, really good, and having it ringed with all the trees and the flowers, I feel like it almost looks realistic. Um, I did not realize this rock was here. I, you know, every time you set a dream address, you always realize later all the things you messed up, all your regrets come back to get you. Um, this little bit of space here, I just put in this little hopscotch code and a couple of tricycles um, to kind of tie back into that, you know, kind of little kid theme that I'm going for. And here we have our first little strawberry patch using, I believe, what are these red wind flowers um, that I plucked and let to grow back again. And this is one of the first builds I did on my island. Um, I, there is a video of me doing it, although I changed it a lot um, from the video, I think. Um, it's Meringue Strawberry Bakery. You can't have an island named Strawberry and not have Meringue and, and give her a bakery. You just can't. So I gave her a patch of wheat and sugar cane. I like to think she's using it for her own pies and stuff. Um, you know, making homemade crust and all the sugary filling. Um, I have like this little outdoor kitchen kind of a th uh, setup. There's this oven back on the rocks. I feel like that would be so relaxing, just baking pies right by the ocean. What a dream. What a dream life she lives. And I use this cute little door code. Um, <laughs> I love it. I forget to use the face cutout standees as actual face cutouts. They're cute. I love them. And yeah, we've just got, you know, little baskets where you can take uh, goodies out with you if you don't want to buy donuts. Which, speaking of donuts, I also, in different areas, uh, dropped yummy snacks for you so that you, when you tour, you will not have an empty stomach. You will be full, you'll be content, you'll have all sorts of yummies. And then over, kind of built onto the peninsula, is this dining area. I tried to put all of the different, like, kind of strawberry foods I have, like these thumbprint cookies. Um, this is a cherry pie over here, but I think it basically could be a strawberry pie. Um, just, you know, pretend those are strawberries on top. It almost looks like a cheesecake to me. It looks like a raspberry cheesecake, too. Mmm. I want cheesecake. That sounds so good. That is my favorite dessert. What's your favorite dessert? I want to hear in the comments below. If you could go up to this cafe, bakery, whatever it is, and order one dessert, what would it be? I would want cheesecake. Or creme brulee. Those are my top two desserts. Um, I'm not usually... I, I love chocolate, but I don't normally, I don't know, reach for chocolatey things. I'm more of a vanilla kind of gal. Um... Maybe that makes me boring, but whatever. Um, and here is another little strawberry patch. And on these rocks, I just kind of put some barrels. You can kind of pretend that they're full of strawberries. Um, and I set out a bunch of baskets. Um, that sign, it's a little hard to read maybe, but it says you pick strawberries. So you can take your baskets, pick your own strawberries, put them in one of those cute little paper bags and bring them home with you. And that's basically everything on this left side of the island. So we're just gonna walk our way back up to resident services. I, I did have a lot of fun with this island. Um, it was definitely a struggle. I know I talked about it a lot in my last video, um, which was the final speed build of this island. But this theme was very difficult. I tried to go very flat, you know, like not terraformed, very metacore, lots of farms. I struggled with that. I like doing very overgrown, very heavily terraformed. Um, so it's a struggle, but honestly, 
Looking at this, I, I finished this island about a week ago and then reset it like immediately. Looking at it now, like a week later, I'm actually really happy with it. I was a little bummed at first. I felt like it wasn't up to my perfectionist standards, but I'm really, really happy with it, honestly. Um, sometimes it just takes time. Um, I know a lot of people get frustrated with their islands. Um, I get it too, you know, you watch a video on YouTube or you visit a dream address and it's so good and you're like, my island will never be this good. Um, trust me, your island is amazing. Sometimes you just need a bit of space, you know, maybe don't look at it for a few days and come back to it. And you might start to see all the beautiful little features. I didn't know you could open the cash register. The money's just sitting there, I can just steal it. Um, yeah, just give it a little bit of time and I bet that it will, the distance and time away will make your heart grow fonder. That's, that's how it's supposed to work, right? Um, anyways, back to the builds, um, back to the island. Um, this is my little post office I built. Um, this island is a lot, um, a lot of different themes going on or like holidays, I guess. Um, there's some Valentine's Day references. Like you can kind of see there's a little box of chocolate hearts. Um, and I built my original, why could I not tilt it? There we go, that's what I was trying to do. But yeah, I built my post office around Valentine's Day. So um, it definitely had a Valentine's touch. Some of the areas are gonna be more eastery because I built them closer to Easter. There's a lot of holidays. And then the island itself is in summertime. Um, so yeah, there, there's a lot of seasons and holidays and themes going on. And this area, if you couldn't guess it by the insane amount of flowers, it's a flower shop. Um, I wanted to just make use of all the amazing new flowery items that we got with this update. Um, I love how we're still all just referring to the two point update, like, oh, the new update, even though it was like six months ago. Um, it just, I don't know, it, it's life changed after the 2.0 update. There's pre update and post update. Um, before we continue much more that way, I do want to head back over here. Um, because there's this little area back here. If you watched my most recent video, you already know what it is. You watched me suffer building it. Um, basically my thought process was I'm gonna put every trendy trend in one build. So we got land bridge, got a land bridge. We got um, a giant lake. We got the perspective build, just everything. And of course, what, what would an island, what would a 2.0 island be without wheat fields. Um, I spent many hours acquiring these fields and then many more hours recustomizing them to be green. Um, if you want to see me suffer, you can watch my last video. I'll, I'll link it in the card or something. Um, but I love how this turned out. I love this very overgrown path. I want to do more stuff like this on future islands, preferably not using 250 wheat fields because it's a lot. But um, I definitely want to do more very overgrown paths. And um, and little cardboard cutouts, that's kind of what I was talking about, about using like more unique items. I normally do not use the cardboard items because I hate them and I think they look silly. But on this very kitty island, they look so good. And I might even be tempted to use them on my main island, Peach. Um, and then we have this sneaky access to the secret beach. I left it pretty basic. Um, I didn't really have much inspiration um, at this point in the island since this was like the last thing that I built. Um, but I decided to put just a little flamingo floaty on the beach, uh, make it just look very natural. Um, it makes me feel like, you know, I'm a little kid just running around this natural overgrown beach. It just feels very nostalgic in a way. Anyways, and if you follow this little windy twisty path this way, you get to a little camper van. Um, since that was like the thing for quite some time. Um, I really like how this turned out. This also feels very nostalgic. I feel like, I don't know, this camper van could be like where, like, I don't know, your aunt lives and, and you're going to stay at your aunt's house and you just swim in the ocean and run around. And I don't know, it, it, feels, it feels like something out of a children's book. I got sick of wheat fields, so I just filled in some water here. I did not want to place more wheat fields. It was much faster to just waterscape um, because I, I'm a crazy person who loves waterscaping. I know most people hate it. I adore it. It is infuriating at times. It is time consuming, but I love it. I just love having islands covered in water. But let's head on back this way and we're gonna see the last little bits of the island. I didn't really comment on this. Um, this was another one of my attempts at like a building build um, with all the storefronts. I don't know if I executed it as well as some people. I I'm just not good at like city building type things but I think it's cute um and I kind of made it just a little alleyway with all sorts of toys and candy um I just love the vibes and we have a cute little 
cute little bus stop here. Here is my Nook's Cranny. I also got a speed build up um, on my channel of this area if you want to see like how I placed all the items down. Um, um, but yeah, I feel like I spent a lot of time on that one and this build in general, really trying to get all of the colors balanced, all the items balanced. I know it's not the most extravagant build, like it's just a bunch of shit in front of the building, but you know what? Sometimes uh, all you need in a build is a bunch of shit and that's it. Just a bunch of stuff everywhere. Doesn't need to be too artsy and fancy. Um, here's another example of like a fun farm layout I wanted to try. I've seen people do these like diagonal little paths with farms um, for a while now and I feel like it's been making a big comeback lately um, and I love that and I wanted to try it and I think it's really cute. I definitely want to do the diagonal farm thing again. And here is one of my favorite builds, Norma's Ice Cream Parlor and yes I set out two choices of ice cream. You can have a strawberry cone or a berry vanilla soft serve. As I said earlier, I love vanilla, so I gotta get that vanilla swirl cone. Looks delicious. Um, but yeah, this is Norma's um, ice cream parlor. This like pink, it's technically spilled milk is the name of the path, but I like to think it's melted ice cream. Um, seeing this path code online is one of the original inspirations for this island. Um, I just saw and knew I wanted to do a ridiculous pink pastel kid core farm island, and I did that and I'm really happy with it. I almost forgot the playground. Um, this little playground area filled in with lots of sand. I put this adorable, I'm obsessed with this, this adorable little teddy bear. He's like buried in the sand, just relaxing, living life. Um, I placed a pond skater in a bucket um, next to all these sand castles. Um, you just pretend the pond skater's not there. Pretend it's just a bucket for making sand castles. Um, and yeah, this does connect right back to my entrance. You might have seen it briefly when we first entered the island. Um, yeah, and over here I just did a quiet little sitting spot because um, I didn't really know what to do. It, it's not a big enough space to do like anything big and I didn't want it to um, block this uh, sandcastle area. So I just kept it minimalist. And down on this beach, it's basically an extension of the ice cream parlor. We have lots of chairs um, and places to sit, lots of ice cream, more little sand drawings. Oops, oop, I did not mean to eat that. Oh, it's gonna drive me insane. But there's now a one floating in the upper corner. Oh, just, just pretend it's not there. Pretend not to look at it. <laughs> um, oh, it's gonna bother me. Um. <laughs> Anyways, we got more of these um, little teddy bears in the sand. And then over on this corner, I had thought about extending the, the parlor a bit more, but I didn't want it to be massive. Like I, I'm like, I don't need to make the whole beach an ice cream parlor. Um, so I put in this little carousel, yet another childhood memory. Um, we used to have a carousel like this um, at our local mall. I, I feel like a lot of my memories I've mentioned have involved the mall. I don't know what that says about me. Um, but yeah, I just loved merry-go-rounds and stuff like this as a kid. I still love them. I, I just love the aesthetic. I love how whimsical they look. Um, definitely a favorite 2.0 item of mine. Um, just another quiet sitting area. And then we've got two options, left or right. Um, we're gonna go to the right first and then come back around. Um, but this area is like a sleepover party. Um, I like to think that it's somebody's birthday and everybody is getting together to have a big old outdoor sleepover. So there's a whole bunch of tents, uh, sleeping bags, lots of food and stuffed animals. Just a very cozy area. Um, and this is the campsite. I meant to scan an amiibo so it'd be filled for the dream address, but I forgot because I'm silly and forgetful. Um, so it's an empty uh, tent area. Pretend there's a tent here. It'd make me feel better if you did. Um, and yeah, basically the beach is just covered in all sorts of Prezi's, items, gifts, toys. I put out a lot more pillows and stuff since it is meant to be like a slumber party. Um, and I decided to keep the museum in a tent um, and pretend that it's kind of a part of, it's maybe, you know, like uh, maybe the adults, you know, are staying in this tent and then all of the kiddos are on that tent. And my doc, I'm obsessed. Um, I know it's pretty simple, but I think it's pretty amazing. Um, I have not decorated a dock in ages, like basically since the update. Oh my god, can you sit down? Um, just because I need to be able to access Cap'n's boat, so I haven't really put many decorations down. This one is not going to be accessible because the shoes are in the way, but you could easily modify this. Like, if you want to take out this umbrella, you could put the shoes there or put it in place of this cushion here. I'm basically going to probably recreate this on my main island and probably every island that I do from now on. I just love all the floaties and the surfboards. 
it's just ugh, big summer energy. Hello, Meringue, your house was so cute. And so the bridge going up, this is Able Sisters. Um, immediately when I first saw this map, I saw this little just skinny sliver of land surrounded by all the, like the river and the pond. And I knew I wanted to do like a cozy little laundry area. Um, I just love that, you know, when you, I feel like with, with picking a map, when you reset, when you see a map that instantly gives you build ideas, that's when you know you've got a good map. And that's how I felt when I saw the map for this island. I was like, oh, I could do all sorts of builds with it. I just had so many ideas popping in my head. Um, but yeah, I just made it this very eclectic little sewing and laundry area, because that's kind of the go-to thing for Able Sisters. I've got this beautiful dress. This was designed by my amazing, lovely friend and stream mod, um, Andromeda. I'll, I'll, I'll give her some, I'll put some of her links below, but um, she makes really cute Animal Crossing codes. Um, and this is a custom strawberry dress she made for me. Um, there's also a peach version for my main island. Um, so if you're looking for some cute fruit themed dresses, and why wouldn't you be looking for cute fruit themed dresses, um, go check her out. Um, and here I just got this little baby flower patch. Um, this is the apple orchard I was referencing earlier that puts uh, Cherry's little cherry orchard to shame. Real quick, wanna show this beach, just a little area to wash off. Hi, Pietro. He's gonna, gotta be careful, Pietro. All your, your makeup's gonna wash off if you go near the shower. And then we'll see what you look like underneath all the clown makeup. I'm very curious. I'm very curious what he looks like under the clown makeup or if that's just his skin. He was just born a clown. Um, but yeah, apple orchard. Um, we've got all sorts of apple goodies up here, apple pie, apple tart, apple jam, apple juice, just everything. And there's a lot of baskets and bags, so you can go and pick your own apples. And it is Gayla's house. Originally, I had Apple, the hamster, but she kind of scares me, like, a lot. Um, so yeah, I got rid of her, and I went with Gayla, the pig. But yeah, as you can see, it's just a ton of apple trees. Um, I filled in every little free space with red flowers and dropped a bunch of these apples on the ground. Um, just make it really cute. And you can cut through the orchard to get to this path, or you can actually walk around to going outside. Um, I wanted there to be a lot of different ways to go. Also, I don't know, I love this. The apple dropped outside the orchard, like it fell over the fence, big brain. Um, yeah, there's a lot of ways you can navigate this island, but I'm just kind of showing you my main uh, layout that I would use for walking, but you can go wherever. And then we've got this little sign pointing all different directions. We're gonna start by going to the left. And as you can maybe guess, it's a little sheep meadow. I'm obsessed with this little fleecy sheep code. Like you can actually see a little sheep. Um, and our villagers are Stella and Pietro. Stella has this little picnic uh, house to the left. Pietro's is back here. Um, and I gave them matching house exteriors because why the frick not? I just felt like it. Let's tilt the camera. There we go. That's a much better view. And I used this maypole item. I really love the maypole item item and I've barely used it uh, since I got it. But I thought it looked really cute in this big open meadow. Um, I think it's really, really perfect. And going back this way to the left, we have... Oh, Stella! Not Stella. This is Lucy's house. Well, this is Stella the villager, but Lucy's house. It is like a dream, bada bing. <laughs> I love Stella. I wish I could have like 10 more villager slots um, so I could just keep everyone I love. I would get Stella on my main island in a heartbeat. But um, this is Lucy's Breakfast Cafe. Um, originally this was gonna belong to Ava, but she too scared me, just like Apple. A lot of my early villagers scared me, I guess. Um, and I took Lucy instead, cause she appeared on a hunt and I think she was one of my starters on my fall island, Maple Glen. Um, and I kind of missed her. And I thought she and Gail would make a cute couple, which they did not because they fought constantly, but at least I had good intentions. But yeah, you can go and eat breakfast. There's jelly filled donuts. There's some like scones and biscuits and stuff sitting out, all sorts of yummy breakfasty things. Here's our little kitchen. There's bread on the floor. Cause why wouldn't you want bread on the floor? The little red toaster. All of these red items worked great. I kind of hate the color red. No offense to anyone who likes the color red, um, but it's just not a fan of mine. And so yeah, like I got like this coffee grinder from Brewster and I'm like, hey, thanks, but why is it only in red? I can't use it, but I did use it. I used it on this island because it is a very red island. More snack stuff. I forget what this item is called, but oh my God, underrated. I literally want to use this in like every freaking build now. Does that not look so fucking appetizing? Maybe I'm just hungry. Okay, the eggs look kind of sus, but otherwise, does this not look amazing? I want to eat it. 
I want to eat it. It looks so good. Just like eggs and a ham and a croissant for breakfast. How, how yum. How delish. Back here, we've got this little fishing area. Um, how this fits into the theme of farm core, you ask? I don't know. I don't know how this fits any of my themes, but you know what? We did it anyways, and I really like it, so deal with it. But yeah, and I tried to just fill in a lot of flowers and a little grassy bit um, off to the left here. More wheat fields because never enough wheat fields, am I right? And now I want to show you the final part of the island. I want to show off my house. So if you go up here, I just have this little second layer cliff here, and I just put down a little... Oh, it makes the funniest little noise. Um, I know the game audio is muted, so you can't hear it, but... Next time you're playing Animal Crossing, go get one of these pools and, and hit A next to it. It makes a silly sound. Um, tiny little picnic area in an extremely loud area. So many waterfalls. Um, be glad that audio is muted for you all, because it's loud. Um, so this is my resident representative house um, for Posey. And I gave her just like a bunch of little farm patches, um, like little the dark brown dirt with like a little winding path and amongst it. I think this is so stinking cute. And you can see I did a whole bunch of patches um, and you can get a cute little view of the wheat fields below. I actually love this layout and I am actually thinking of recreating something like this on my main island um, because I would like it to be a functional island. Um, and this is very functional here. You know, if you want functional farms that you can work with, these are great. They're easy to water because they're all in small plots. Um, and you know, you don't need too many crops, you know? Realistically, this is more than enough to supply all of your crops um, that you'd need for baking and stuff. And this is my house for my resident rep, Posey. Come along with me. Okay, so a little bit about this house. Um, I've said a couple times now that this house is, uh, the whole island, rather, is meant to be inspired by childhood me. And growing up, um, I lived really far away from my grandma and my dream in childhood was what if I could live next door to my grandma. And so I, I won up to those childhood wishes. I said, what if I lived with my grandma? So this is supposed to be like my house, but one in which I lived with my grandma and it's also very colorful. Um, kind of just a dream little kitty house. Yeah, we've got this cozy little kitchen in the corner. I, it, it's very uh, small and compact, but it's very functional and I love it got this cute little dining area. I did block off some of the side rooms, like that one in the back room, because I didn't want to decorate a full house. It's a bathroom, and thank goodness, because I am tired of looking at this little uh, one. I did not mean to eat that ice cream cone. And that takes care of that. Truly, it does. Um, so yeah, feel free to, you know, when you come to my island, feel free to use the toilet if you need to, um, if you accidentally eat anything. Yeah, I just made this a very colorful, cutesy bathroom. I actually used this wallpaper um, in my bathroom in my new leaf town. So this is kind of a, a throwback to that era of my life, that part of childhood. Um, I know new leaf was more my teenage years than childhood, but whatever. Cute little laundry area using a bunch of the fun new 2.0 items, um, like that closet hanging item. I, I haven't seen a lot of people using it like in laundry areas. Start using it, people. It's so cute. It's so cute. Downstairs, we've got a bedroom for my grandma. So this is very much inspired by my own grandma, but I feel like it does give just general granny vibes. Hopefully you get granny vibes when you're in here. But I gave her a little computer because she used to always write me emails um, on the computer since, you know, we live far away. And she has a little area for reading <clears throat> because what granny doesn't love to read? And then she also, um, she loved to sew, she loved plants, she loved playing the piano. So I included kind of all of those things. Just a little, a little nod to my grandma. Which random fun fact, um, I randomly was discussing with my mom, we realized this year my grandma would have been turning a hundred um, if she was still alive. So that's pretty heckin' cool. All right, and I'm gonna finish the tour off with the grand finale, my bedroom. Is this not the cutest little room you've ever seen in your life? I feel like this room is just the epitome of cutesy kid core and I had so so much fun building this. We did this little play area over here. Um, froggy chair. Can't live without a froggy chair. Um, got my cute little desk where I can do writing and stuff. You know do all my very difficult elementary school homework like uh, you know subtracting numbers. Maybe even some multiplication. Really crazy shit. 
I did play the saxophone as a kid, so we got a saxophone here. Do, do, do. Um, the posters are kind of random, just whoever I happen to have, but Chevra was my childhood beloved, so I guess that's a little um, unintended nod to my childhood as well. Um, why there are two beds? I don't know. And I had this rocking chair with books so that Granny can sit and read you some books. And that is a wrap for this island. If you've enjoyed this tour, please give the video a thumbs up and maybe say in the comments what you enjoyed about it. It would really mean a lot to me. And if you're wondering what is next uh, for me after this, well, I have already reset this island, as I mentioned uh, earlier in the video, um, and I have started work on my new island, Mochi. I'm gonna show you a quick sneak peek of my map. Um, and I am planning on doing a video kind of going in more in depth with what I'm gonna do with it, like the theme and everything. Um, it's basically gonna be like a kind of cute, uh festival rural japan island um so if that sounds like something you're interested in seeing or you're just interested to see more cute animal crossing content um please do consider subscribing to my channel it means so so much to me um we just hit 500 subscribers holy heck i'm so excited i don't know there, there, there's so many people that you could choose to watch on youtube and spend your time with especially in the animal crossing community because there are so many amazing creators out there and it means a lot to me that you would spend your time here with me um so i just want to say thank you again to everyone who has subscribed watched liked left comments just supported me in any way you are all amazing wonderful people and um, until the next time, I hope you have an amazing, wonderful rest of your day and stay peachy. Bye-bye.